So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. And as you can see, we've already started here. And the weighted pass takes aim with a cross. Dashing forward at pace. Gusai. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Oh, that's neat. So who's he picking out? Crosses it in. Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. for the right to play in the early stages. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone and we still await the first goal. Hoists it forward. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And it's played forward. Fifteen minutes till half time. Kings it out wide. Quick chance, tries one. A great gallop down the right hand side gets his foot in there a heavy challenge Balls loose who's getting there no complaints about that challenge robust but fair Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's there to cut it out. Forward it goes. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. And it's played forward. The three's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have two.
spoiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Here we go again. Qatar clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Oh, great ball! Great defensive work, it doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Looking for a decent ball in. Header! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Albania can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. rather wayward another example of how comfortable this team is on the break Loses his balance and loses the ball. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's on a plate. Turns and goes back. And here's the chance to counter. Hoists it forward. It's a brilliant interception. In comes the corner. Fence has got rid of that. Throwing. Time for a change in personnel. <laughs> Delivers across. And that's been levered clear. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it clear. Forward it goes. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. That's a foul, free kick's been given. He's had a big chance! He's looking to get there first. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Chooses to go back. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. He's trying the shot. It's broken loose. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Defending of the desperate variety. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Driving forward in search of a late winner. And he's there to hoof it away. Qatar merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Out to the right. Lofted into the middle. And it's hoisted clear. to get it away has gone out tries to get it forward quickly minutes up and we will be back for extra time yeah neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off so we remain optimistic so a short respite for the players as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes To extra time we go. He's made sure that that won't get through. Steered forward. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Keeps everyone guessing. That's a tries a shot. Oh, what about that? And surely that has won the day. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. That's a hit! And the lead stays intact, just. Well, the level of urgency is shot up, and, and that's promising now to maintain it. Tries to get it clear. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic.
And we're off for the final time. They have played themselves to a near standstill. What is left in the tank now? Keeper has beaten it away. And it's played forward. Plays it out to the wing. Finds himself eased off the ball. Defenders on the back foot. Just brushed off the ball there. Back to the keeper and go again. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Looking to hit the front line. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Forward it goes. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, the right side of that defence didn't react well to the initial threat and continued to struggle on stopping the crosses. That's the big area for improvement. A very poor show. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.